Hello, LifePoint Church. Hope that you are all doing well today. We're going to get started on a new series, and the series is Contending for the Faith by Brother David Myers. Our lesson for this week is Faith Unwavering. So we're going to be talking a little bit about how we can have unwavering faith in a, a world that seems to be kind of going off the deep end. So our main scripture focus for this lesson and for this week is 1 Timothy 1.5, and it says, now the end of the commandment is that charity out of a pure heart, out of a good conscience, and of faith unfeigned. If we look into the life of John the Baptist, we will see a good example of unwavering faith. Um, you know, John was the, a voice crying in the wilderness, as it was put. You know, he was not afraid to go against the, the culture of his day. He was not afraid to go against what people thought at the time. He had the spirit of Elijah. He stood for righteousness when the political leaders were wicked and hostile to a righteous message. John started preaching in the wilderness. He did not preach in a church or synagogue. He preached in the desert beside rivers in the beating sun. His message was unequivocal. Repent. It's time to repent. The clarity and the boldness of his message drew a lot of people that both wanted to hear and people that did not like the message that he was preaching. Eventually, his preaching and his influence got the attention of King Herod. And before long, John was testifying himself before the king. Now, some of us maybe at that point would have tempered our message a little bit or backed it down, maybe not been so bold about it. But John all the more continued with his boldness, and he said, you need to repent. You are not living right, O king. Can you imagine being at the, king, being at the king's throne of the day and telling the king, you are not living right? John was not afraid of the consequences that would come along with preaching what he knew God had told him to preach. The preaching of John drew the admiration of some and the wrath of others. But John did not let fear determine his message. The fear of imprisonment and even death did not force John to falter. He stood strong. He was an example to all of us of unwavering faith amid threats and persecution is a testimony to the truth that we hold dear. Jesus held up John as an example to all of us that if we will be strong in our faith, regardless of the circumstances, he will declare with our lifestyle the moral sovereignty of our message. John preached the same gospel in the wilderness and in the palace. The steadfastness of his preaching awoke the people to the justice of God. As we look back, you know, one of the references you know, we just made is that John had the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of Elijah, you know, the Old Testament tells the story of Elijah who also had the opportunity and the mandate to stand for righteousness in the face of wickedness in high places. When Elijah became weary in his battle, God visited him in a solitary place and encouraged him, reminding him that he was not alone. Sometimes we may become weary in well-doing because doing right in the midst of constant wrongdoing can be exhausting to the human spirit. But God will come and refresh us in times of our weariness. God gave Elijah the assignment to find someone to mentor, and this person, Elisha, helped to shoulder Elijah's load. If we stand strong, God will put others in our path to bring strength to us and to help us. God knows that we are human, and we need not only spiritual encouragement, but we also need human and physical encouragement. He gave us camaraderie through the church, friends, and family to help give us a sense of hope, purpose, and peace. I hope that you have enjoyed this lesson today, and we will get back to lesson two tomorrow.